Welcome to a Jason, and it's a deck profile review profile for Dragon Ball. So the leader we have, uh, Vegeta, a Furious Awakening. This boy's every color to ever exist, which means he's the best. And he he has a critical, which reminds me of uh, Critical Role, and of course we all know and love that TV show. And you know it's 2019, race is a sensitive subject, so we're gonna be all the colors. Now let's jump into the cards. First off, we run four copies of Perfect Cell. Now this guy was like my favorite guy from the anime, so we gotta honor that. He makes your opponent discard their cards for three, and he's super good. And in Dragon Ball Z Abridged, he was really sassy. So he's gonna... Next, we have two copies of Bulma, the God Temple. Now already you know what I'm talking about. The way she makes a big ass Sunday classic Bulma. That was a Dragon Ball moment to tell the kids right there. Now she finds gods, so we gotta put some gods in this deck. So we grab the best of the gods. Zeno, the plain god. We got three of this bad boy, and he's like the god of the gods, so you know he's the most powerful dude to exist ever. And you can probably win the game with him like... And he doesn't have combo power, but unless you're some sort of idiot, you, you know combo power ain't worth anything. It doesn't advance the board state, and it's just like boring. It's just, it's just like boring, man. Coming up next, we got three Shugesh Super Combo. Now this, this is a Super Combo I like. We get the Plague Boys on the board, and we advance the board state. Clearly, this is the only Super Combo worth talking about. We got four copies of Hit, we got three copies of Pam, we got two copies of Nail, we got one copy of Saiyan Onslaught Kefla, we got a Dragon Ball, we got another Vegeta Leader, we got a Feathering Destruction Champer, we got, we got a Normal Champer, we got, we, we got a Draw 4, we got a picture of Tigger, we got Five Nights of Freddy's fanfic, we got a sleeve filled with spaghetti, we got a, a, a Bees card from Cards Against Humanity, we got a Friday Pass to Pax, we got four copies of Champer and Beerus. Now the interesting thing about Champer and Beerus is with a rival, you can play them for only one energy. Drop your opponent's card by 20k and give one of your cards double strike. Combine this with something like Kefla which attacks twice and you do double strike two hits and you can swing for both of them. Then on top of that, if you play a red skip card, you can take another turn and do it again. But we only run three of the red skip card. One of the rarer cards we're running in this deck is an actual credit card. Now these aren't that powerful, but if you're playing to win, why are you on this video? Th these videos are about having fun and flexing on your opponents. Say, hey, I got a credit card, what of it? Y you can't destroy that, it's not a battle card, it's a credit card. <laughs> you, you literally win the game. And the rest of the deck? Cybermen. Cybermen. Just, 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 just Cyberman. Thanks, and uh, forget, forget to subscribe.